This is kind of a big deal. Put the window down. No, you can do this. Okay. Ben has never pulled a trailer. Bye, buddy. Bye. I, I believe in you. Ben has never pulled a trailer in his life. Our lawnmower has gone out and Ben is gonna be the one to take it in and drop it off at the lawnmower repair shop. And he is so darn nervous about driving with a trailer. And I don't blame him because if you've never driven with a trailer, it's hard, guys. You And it's not hard driving. Down the road is easy. It's making turns. You gotta swing out wide. And uh, the funny thing is he and I, this is how clever Ben is. He and I took the, um, he, he got the GPS and I showed him which route would be the easiest route to take where you would have less turns, which is cute. It may be a little bit longer route, but there'll be less turns you have to make. And so I'm just kind of watching when he touches his brakes to make sure I plug the brake lights on. I'm going to see when he touches his brakes up here to make sure the lights come on. If not, I have to call him and say, hold on. Um, while we're doing this, let's just walk in the driveway and uh, look around how pretty things are. We're so blessed. It's a beautiful time of year. And there's a lot going on right now with Brienne and her moving. Um, you guys know that I talked about yesterday. I'm still waiting to see brake lights. You know, one thing I did not do was test the, there we go, all the lights are working. Okay, whoo, I can breathe, a sigh of relief. Okay, Donkey Dan's doing good. Imogene's over here, still got a little bit of a hobble to her step. Uh, she has a TT, y'all, don't look. Uh, you guys know that we've talked about that in Jamie's video. Um, sometimes when you have lots of rain and moisture and the animals are standing around in it for a while, they have to get infections on their feet. Look at that, all the lights are working. Well, would you look at that? Look who has made it home successfully. No dents or dings from what I can see from here. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Look at old Ben. I gotta find out, all. Ben tells great stories. Ben tells great stories. Now, his stories will drag on for an hour. Sometimes I have to hush him up. Sometimes it sounds like listening to the teacher on Charlie Brown. I need to know every detail. Do you mind talking on a video? Okay, so he said he's okay with video. What was the most difficult part of pulling a, uh, a trailer? Uh, what, you went about 30 miles? Um, probably. Okay. I will thank them for um, not sheltering me which I'm very glad. Um, now, to be fair, I did grow up in the digital age, so I was a little easier for me um, without like, having to spend hours on the library, which is what people in the past had to do. Um, like, if information, it would have taken people hours uh, 20, 30 years ago. So I am, that's one, that's one perk about growing up in today's, in today's world. And, and interest in culinary arts. I took culinary class in high school because I've, I've had an interest in cooking for a very long time. I have a whole stack of cookbooks at my house. Italian, Chinese, seafood, uh, gourmet. I got an email from a lady who said, Lester, no offense, but whenever I start watching your videos, I can't help but doze off. She goes, your content is great. She goes, I love your videos. She goes, but it's your voice. There's something about your voice that helps put her to sleep. And I guess I'm complimented. I mean, you know, that's a compliment, right? I, I have a sleep disorder, so I welcome things that help put me to sleep. Anyway, she has to watch the videos at night to go to sleep, but she watches them again the next day, uh, so she doesn't miss anything. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna do uh, to get prepped for my cows being in the uh, other pasture is run me a water trough. Uh, I got me some water hose here. I hope that this will be enough, 300 foot, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out soon enough. All right, last thing that we're gonna do here is fill up our water trough, and then I will um, call the cows up to show them where the water's at. They're completely blocked off of this pasture. 
There's all of our materials. I'll keep those there until we put everything back up. But now there's access to come all the way across with this fella when he brings a trailer here. And uh, that'll be good. Poor Brienne, she got her hands full though. She's She got her hands full, y'all. So you guys keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Anytime that you move, no matter how far away, and then, of course, she's making a pit stop for a couple of weeks in the Barn Dominium until her new house is here and set up. But that'll offer her and Laramie, her husband, and her kids a whole lot more room, a lot more space. And that's beautiful to see a growing family and able to grow into a larger home. Uh, as far as my water here, it's going to be out in the sun. I know you're going to say it's going to get hot. Uh, normally, the deeper the trough, the less uh, it will it stay cooler. So I will be here every single day. I'm gonna make sure I come by every day and I'll empty the water out during the midday, refill it, and that will help a whole lot. And uh, that will give our babies access to good, clean, cool, fresh water. And they, like I said, they have plenty of grass in these pastures. There's also hay if they want it. And, like I said, I spoil them. I still feed grains. All right. Well, here they all come. They have no idea what's going on. Poor babies. They have no idea what's going on. They're like, hey, wait a minute. Those are our food troughs. What's And there's our water bowl. What's Daddy doing here? Daddy, what are you doing? And then Waylon and Jolene are going to come up and investigate. That's what I like about them. This is gonna be good. They're gonna find out right now that there's water in there. It's good cold water. Oh boy. That's the good cold stuff, Waylon. It's nice and fresh. Y'all make room for mama. Y'all make room for old Pearl. What do you think, buddy? You guys are gonna be trapped out back for a while. Not to worry. You got plenty of shade. Look, there's shade. Lots of shade back there. Plenty of green grass. Go, good old fresh water. I'm gonna bring y'all some grains out in a few minutes, okay? All right. Can we handle this for a little bit? Can we do it? Can we do it, sweetie? We can do this. Yes, we can. That sounds like a Bob the Builder commercial. Can we build it? Yes, we can. And we can do this. I'm glad they're all getting an idea of where their water is going to be, though. So try to keep it as consistent as possible, even with all that's going on. All right, so this here is our setup. We got a couple of water troughs. All of our feed troughs are set up. Everyone's going to be good, guys. Thank you all for worrying about them. Thank you for loving them as much as we do. I just need you all to know that there are four longhorns in this pasture. There's also four feed troughs in this pasture. Jolene is being hard headed, y'all. She's trying to fight Waylon for this one particular food trough, probably because it's close to her mama. She wants to be close to mama when she eats. But she can very easily walk over past Gracie to that fourth food trough that's just sitting there and no one's eating on it. Instead, she's going to keep on fighting and bumping heads with Waylon. And have y'all ever known anybody, seriously, have you ever known anybody that chooses to do things the hard way? They could do things the easy way. There's a much easier way, yet they choose to do things the hard way. And now, look who Waylon yields to. Thank you, Mama, for coming by and helping baby girl get something to eat. Look at that. All Mama did was run Waylon off, and she, well, that's just, <laughs> now you guys, what are you gonna do now? Follow your Mama to the next food bowl? <laughs> I love them. Gosh, I love them. <laughs> I'm just playing on my phone, baby. I'm just looking at my phone, waiting for your water trough to fill up. And I was 
with my glasses so I can see. I can't read without my glasses on, baby. I was trying to read comments. Can I turn around and love you a little bit? Can I turn around and love you a little bit? I have nothing for you to eat here. You already had your dinner, baby. You already had your snack. You got all that pretty green grass out there, though. And there's some hay there behind you. Would you like me to give you something else? Like, uh, how about some alfa? Ooh, alfalfa. Want some alfalfa hay, baby? I can throw a flake of that over for you. What about you, Waylon? You want some of this delicious, nice, cold, and fresh water? No, he only wants to go loving on Joel, uh, Jolene a little bit. All right, that's my babies right there. I'm actually being loved on right now by my sweet Jolene, but she's loving her way. Now, her way could be kind of painful if you're not careful. These horns could actually stick you. They're only a foot long or so, but that's one foot that I don't need sticking me. That's a, that's a foot of, that's, that one foot is a little bit too much for daddy to handle. Look at her though. Boy, now we do not need this here. We do not need this right over here. I'm happy to see that both Gracie and Waylon are taking advantage of the fresh, cool water. That worried me having them out in the pasture with no water source though. I know they can drink pond water, guys. It's not about drinking pond water. Let's not make an argument about that. It's just that my animals are used to the fresh stuff that we change out almost daily and so pond water actually this time of year is not as bad as it would be mid to late summer pond water is stale and stagnant and it will begin to have bacteria and different larvae growing inside of it at some point but right now pond water is probably not that bad well, I want to thank y'all for being a part of this. Uh, I always say things are funner and gooder when you can do them with friends and, uh, you know, folks that you love and care about. That would be you all. It was nice having Ellie and been here for the majority of the work today. It's nice that they get the chance to see what kind of things it takes to maintain a farm and the links that you go through to keep your animals happy and live in their best life possible. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go now, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video, huh? Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.